It starts with comparison. Around us we see how others appear and the amount of attention they receive. This makes us question ourselves and the way we look. And if we are not satisfied with our appearance, we start searching for a solution to change it. And so the cycle of distorted body image begins. Body image is what we believe we look like, good or bad. This isn't an opinion we are born with. Instead, it's created, we nurture it, and allow it to take control. Kids as young as nine are now talking about dieting and not wanting to get fat. They start believing that their worth is tied up in their appearance. So if they don't like the way they look, then ultimately, they don't like themselves. It is estimated that 56% of girls and 43% of boys are dissatisfied with their appearance. This dissatisfaction leads to behavioral changes and introduction of eating disorders. Besides the obvious goal of altering our appearance, manipulating our eating habits gives us back the control that we feel we don't have when it comes to our body's design. Our bodies are constantly changing during our teenage years. These changes already produce insecurity and make us want to hide or expose parts of our bodies. We allow ourselves to be turned into an object that measures our worth. So how do we break free from these lies? First, know that you have been created on purpose. In fact, the Bible says we have been created in God's image and that we are His children. Secondly, because we live in a fallen world, we will never be perfect. This includes the way we look. No matter what you do or how hard you try, you will never be completely satisfied with your body. So instead, we pursue contentment and peace with our bodies. We celebrate the positive, and we learn to acknowledge and let go of the negative. Just like you have allowed lies about the way you look to creep in, it will take time to believe and live out this new truth of your body's design. So try not to get discouraged. Remember that though you are not flawless, your body was purposely designed, and it's what makes you, you. To continue this conversation or any others that you are struggling with, please text REMEDY to 313131 to talk to one of our soul medics. You have one life. Live it on purpose. We're REMEDY Live. We chat. We listen. We love.